Hey guys, this is Neha Surendran from English Firm Paramata. Today in this session, I am going to give you a detailed presentation on the Describe Image exercise in the speaking module. So let's get down to it. In this exercise, as the title suggests itself, you will be given an image and you will have to describe the image literally. So I will just give you the overview of this exercise. This exercise is divided into three parts, namely rehearsing, speaking, and clicking on the next button to move on to the next question. So during the rehearsing part, you will be given 25 seconds to rehearse. That is, you will get an image and you will get this 25 second preparation time to note down all the facts connecting that image, like what the image is concluding, what the image is pointing out, what all facts are there in the image, what the image is about, etc. So you will get that time and use that time efficiently to know what the image is about and write down the points that relate to the image. Then the next part is the speaking part where you will be given 40 seconds to speak on that image. So you will be writing down the points and you will have to frame sentences and then speak on that image for 40 seconds. So you make sure you stop describing the image within 35 seconds of time period so that you can move on to the next question or else your time limit will be very packed up. So as soon as you finish speaking, you can click on the next button to move on to the next question. So I will just give you some general facts related to this exercise. You will be given six to seven questions and your scoring will be based on three sections, namely content, oral fluency and pronunciation with five points to each. Since this is a speaking exercise and involves speaking only, it has an internal scoring of 25 points to speaking. So I will just give you some examples of how this exercise will go along. So, and uh, images means there are actually a different set of class categories of images that you will be getting. So sometimes you will be getting a graph or you will be getting a picture itself or you will be getting many diagrams like Venn diagram, then maps, pie charts, tables, pyramid, then process cycles, etc. So these are the few repeated types of images that come for the PTE examination. So I just have noted down so you can uh, make a rough idea on what all type of images will be there. So you will be told to describe such images. Since you can note here that most of these images will be having a lot of information in them. It's not just a mere picture. So you will have many things to describe about that image. So don't worry, even if uh, you don't get anything, you will be having many numerical values or content in it so that you can describe the image. So I will just show you some examples to have a clear picture. Uh, this is a sample question. So here you can see it is a pie, uh, it's a graph. It's like a bar graph. And you can see it's about the population of Australian states and territories of the year 2006. And you can see the x-axis population and, uh, sorry, uh, x-axis is population and y-axis is states. And you can see many values. So first of all, when you look onto the image, you can see it's uh, about, it's a statistical graph. You can see it's about population. You can see many states, you can see the numbers, and you can see a rough idea on it is an increasing graph. So try to take all these points while you describe the image. Just note what the image is about, what the image is conveying, and what all points you can note about that image. So you can say you can see many states and you can point out the states and you can see the maximum population is a uh, in the state this, in the state X, and you can see the minimum population is in the state Y, or you can say the graph is about this, and the graph concludes that the population is increasing in different states, and uh, this is of the year 2006, and you can see uh, there are many other values and facts related to this graph. So whenever you get an image, and during the preparation time, Try to focus on what all facts the image can be about. So and another type of question is a pie chart. 
like this and you will be getting um, about some uh, general facts from this like uh, what the pie chart is about like medium baked potato macaroni and the different levels of saturated fat other nutrients etc so you can point out uh, the graph is very informative and the graph is about such nutrition levels and the graph shows how much percentage of each is present in those food items and such facts you can point out from this image and also you can tell there are two types of food items given here and from conclusion you can tell which is more healthier or you can do many things from this image you can point out many facts it depends upon you and depends upon how you use that 25 second preparation time so i always advise you to write down the points so that you can brief frame the sentences during that 40 seconds itself it's always better to note down the points and give an uh, you know get an idea on how you will proceed it during the speaking part so this is another type of question that is usually seen in the pt examination and the next is uh, a continent and it's a map so you can see what the problem here is that there is no much not much information written in this image right so you can only see uh, the uh, country and you can only see some states but you might not know every name of the state in that particular country so what you can do is that you can try speaking uh, about not about the image you can describe the image in a different way like you can tell the image is very beautiful then uh, it's a map of africa then africa it's showing the different state distribution and it it is showing the mountain gorilla the eastern lowland gorilla the image is very informative the image has a green color you can describe the color but whenever you try to describe an image and this applies to all the type of questions you should not try to repeat the same type of sentences for example if i tell you uh, i can see green color in this image i can see yellow color in this image i can see blue color in this image i can see purple color the problem is that the software is detecting the same type of sentences so you need to make sure if you want to score for content you need to make sure that you use different words you use different sentences and the different sections on which the exercise is scored the first one is content so to score for content to maximize your score you need to make sure you do not like repeat the sentences always you should make sure you use different sentences and meaningful sentences and the next point is oral fluency and make sure you speak without any disruption because if you make any gap or pause the software will detect that gap and it will stop the recording so try to speak continuously even if you make any mistake even if you describe a point that is not in the image the software is not going to detect that so even if you mug up anything just speak continuously don't worry you try to speak continuously because your scoring is based on the oral fluency and then for pronunciation try to make sure you speak very loud and clear with full confidence this is very important so for to practice like that you need to write down the points when you practice questions take a paper and write down all the points that relates to the image and keep a clear idea on what you are going to present during the speaking part and also try to keep the number of pauses to a minimum range that is always a very good point to keep in your mind and speak in a moderate pace don't just uh, speak in a very fast pace because the software cannot detect all the words that you tell so speak in a moderate pace speak very confidently and describe the things that you only see in the image like you can use many adjectives and etc but try to stick on to the image and even if you do not have anything else like first you say uh, that this is an image of africa this is a map of africa and then you describe about the different states the colors etc and then you did not get anything else you can repeat the first sentence but make sure there are different number of sentences in between them so that the software cannot detect you are telling on the keeping on repeating the same sentence 
So these are the sum of the facts that you have to note in this exercise so that you can score. It's very easy to score good marks in the described image exercise. So actually it's very uh, good if you keep a particular template, stick on to a particular template for each type of image. So for a graph, I, I have given you a sample template shown here. So I have given a content, I have fixed a template. So if you get such an image, it's very easy. You can just, you just need to remember the template. So you can just fill it with the title, the X axis and Y axis, and then it will be very easy. You just have to note the points if you know the content of the template. So for this image, I have given you the sample uh, here. So this can be also used for graphs, also different types of graphs. So in this question, you can see it's about home and international students. It's the population distribution. And you can see men and women also here in different uh, distributions. And it's the blue colored are British home students and the red colored are international students. So different years are also given here. And you can, even if the values are not correct, like if you say for 2010, uh, the ratio of British home students is 25 instead of 38. The software is not going to detect your mistake. So try to make your content seem very nice and also try to uh, speak without any disruption. That is the main point you have to focus. So I can just tell, for example, here the given image represents home and international students distribution graph. The x-axis represents distribution population and the y-axis represents year. So here I made a mistake, right? The x-axis actually represents the year and the y-axis represents the distribution population. But there is no problem in that because the software is not going to detect that. There is no uh, template that is already fixed by the software that you should present. So try keep on speaking even if you make any mistake. There is no problem. And then you can tell the home and international students distribution in 2010 is 35 and 15. In conclusion, the image is very informative. So first try to, in the introduction part, always try to include what the image is about. And in the conclusion part, just tell the image is very informative. So try to bring up a particular template for each type of images that I have shown you. and. It would be very easy to tackle this exercise if you get good amount of practice also. So these are some of the points that I wanted to conclude, uh, convey in this exercise. And I hope that you all got a very information, a very good information from this video. So thank you so much guys for tuning in. And if you need any help or mentor, you can always contact us at englishfirm.com website please do check out and there are more templates also available at englishfirm.com website please do check that out after this video and if you just need a mentor to evaluate and give you feedback on your different exercises in the different modules you can email us at mockpt at englishfirm.com thank you so much guys thank you for tuning in